Welcome. In this video, I'm going to go over four different ways you can set up an SSH server on a Raspberry Pi on Raspberry Pi OS. So I'm using a Raspberry Pi 4 in this video, and I'll put a link in the description to the hardware I'm using on Amazon, and if you use that link, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost you anything extra. I'll also put a link below to my Raspberry Pi playlist where you can find my other Raspberry Pi projects. Okay, so I have a new build of Raspberry Pi OS desktop here. So the current versions of Raspberry Pi OS typically come with SSH server installed, but you need to turn it on or enable it. So probably the easiest way to set up SSH is on your Mac, PC, or Windows machine, is after you burn the image, you take the SD card out and stick it right back in, and you'll see the boot partition mount on your system. You go in there and create a file called SSH or SSH.txt, and you create a blank file there. And when you do that, it will automatically trigger the Raspberry Pi to open an SSH server. And you could do it on the Raspberry Pi itself. You can say sudo space touch space forward slash boot forward slash SSH and then hit enter. And then when you reboot the machine, SSH will be up and running. And I'll put a link below to my website where I'll have these commands so you can have a better reference of them than my screen. Okay, so I'll clear my screen here. Probably the second easiest if you have a graphical desktop is to go up to your Raspberry Pi icon, go to preferences and go to Raspberry Pi configuration and then go to interfaces. And then for SSH, hit Enable, and then hit OK. So once you do that, it will set up SSH server on your Raspberry Pi. And when you set up SSH, it will also set up SCP, so you can copy files to your Raspberry Pi. So the next easiest way would probably be on the terminal. You type sudo space raspy dash config, and this would work on Raspberry Pi OS Lite. So when we open this up, we get a similar menu to the graphical system where we go down to interfacing options. We can go to SSH and we can say yes here and that will enable the SSH server. So I'll say no for now. I'll say finish, clear my screen here. So those are the three easiest ways. The final way is the command line and this is probably my preferred way because I'm used to it. So first let's check and make sure the server's not running. So I can type PS space AX space and then pipe and pipe is above your enter key space grep space and then quote ssh quote i'll hit enter and what we're looking for here is sshd and we don't see sshd there so we can type sudo space system ctl space enable space ssh and i'll hit enter okay so now i'll press the up arrow until i see this uh, psax line again and you see sshd is not running now because we need to still start it so i'll type sudo space system ctl start space ssh i'll hit enter and now i'll look at the processes again and we see sshd is running now i'll clear my screen so one way we can check that is we can type ssh localhost so if you don't have a username, because typically you would type user at localhost, if you don't have that username there, it's going to use the username you're using on your system. So mine right now is pi. So if I hit that, it's gonna ask me to validate my authenticity. I'll say yes, and then it wants my password. So I'll just type my login password, and now I'm SSH into myself. I can exit out of this, clear my screen. You can also type sudo space system CTL space status space SSH, and this will tell us the status of it. And if you want to disable it, you can type sudo space system ctl, and then we can say stop ssh, and then we'll run this same command and we'll say disable ssh, and that will disable ssh. I'll get back up to my process view here, and you notice sshd is no longer running. And then if we try to log into our own system that way, it says connection refused. Okay, so I'll clear my screen here. One last thing, the version I'm using has OpenSSH server installed on it already and I just have to enable it. If you do need to install it, you can type sudo space app space install space open SSH dash server. And if I hit enter there, it will install that software. It's already installed, so it's not going to do that right now. So that's four different ways to enable an SSH server on a Raspberry Pi running Raspberry Pi OS. And like I mentioned earlier, this also supports SCP, which is the secure copy, so you can copy files to your Raspberry Pi. And I may make some future videos on doing that, so look for those. In the meantime, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.